Just as the hologram of Tosev III had looked like a world floating in space, so the world itself, seen through an armor-glass window, resembled nothing so much as a holographic image. But to get round to its other side now, Atvar would have to wait for the 127th Emperor Hedo to finish half an orbit. The Fleet Lord glared down at the planet below. He had been glaring at it ever since the fleet arrived, one of his own years before. No one in all the vast history of the race had ever been handed such a poisonous dilemma. The assembled shiplords stood waiting for Atvar to give them their orders. His the responsibility, his the rewards, and the risks. The natives of Tosev III are more technologically advanced than we believed they would be when we undertook this expedition, he said, seeing if gross understatement would pry a reaction from them. As one, they dipped their heads slightly in assent. Atvar tightened his jaws. Would that he might bite down on his officers' necks. They were going to give him no help at all. His the responsibility. He could not even ask the Emperor for instructions. A message home would take twenty-four home years to arrive. The reply, another twenty-four. The invasion force could go back into cold sleep and wait. But who could say what the Tosavites would have invented by then? Atvar said, The Tosavites appear at the moment to be fighting several wars among themselves. History tells us their disunity will work to our advantage. Ancient history, he thought. The Emperor had had a single rule so long that no one had any practice playing on the politics of disunion. But the manuals said such a thing was possible, and the manuals generally knew what they were talking about. Carell assumed the stooping posture of respect, a polite way to show he wished to speak. Atvar turned both eyes on him, relieved someone would say at least part of what he thought. The shiplord of the 127th Emperor Hetto said, Is it certain we can successfully overcome the Tosavites, fleet lord? Along with radio and radar, they have aircraft of their own, as well as armored fighting vehicles. Our probes have shown them clearly. But these weapons are far inferior to ours of similar types. The probes also show this clearly. That was Streha, shiplord of the 206th Emperor Yawar, he ranked next highest among the shiplords after Corel, and wanted to surpass him one day. 